Hello everyone, this is Nappy Mac David 3. Um, didn't plan on doing any videos, um, besides I still have to upload my uh, video from the holiday collection for Mac. But I haven't done that yet, so been busy this weekend. Um, baby shower, um, birthday parties, I'm supposed to go see Janet on Tuesday, so... No, hopefully all goes well because she canceled the concert before and rescheduled it. So, so I'm trying to find a look and everything. So while I was trying to find a look, I was looking at videos and I seen uh, Scandalous Beauty. Erin had one up for um, a blush tag. So since I'm really just starting to get back into blushes because part of the reason um, I didn't do blushes before were um, in high school I had a lot of... Um, skin issues, acne, allergies, still have allergy issues sometimes. So on this side, um, I don't know if you can see it, but I have like a little, along my little blush line, where I put my blush at, where a couple of spots, I'm trying to get the clear up a little bit more, the, they've been getting better because I had it on both sides at one point, high school was a lot worse, so, so I'm just getting into blushes again. But I do have some favorites of the few that I do have, which is probably I just bought all of them. Because I only buy stuff if I really, really like it. So one of them, and actually I'm going to start with my all-time favorite, is the Studio Mist Blush by MAC. And this is in pink spritz. I know um, anybody new to MAC may not be familiar with this. But this is like where they have the... Um, spray one like you spread on you wouldn't want to spray it directly on your skin um, most people normally spray it on something like either the lid or sometimes I would spray it on my hand put it on my hand use my brush and then put it on my skin and I was told by MUA to actually spray it on something not your skin or anything like that and then you know it won't dry as quick so that's one and then I also have it in misty pink so I have two of those actually three because I have a backup of the um, pink spritz because I love that so much I had to have a backup of this one like I said this is one of my all-time favorites and the next one hipness which is like a peachy color powder blush um, from the Faffy collection also MAC very very pretty gorgeous peachy color you probably can't tell by my um camera but hopefully next couple of days i'll have a nice camera where i can do a couple of uh a couple of videos because i keep getting compliments on the way i'm doing my eyes so maybe i'll do some tutorials and i'll get to my other mac blushes um let's see which i think i showed you all before um no i have my new ones which I have Start Naked, which is right here. Dolly Mix, beautiful one. Melba, which is a very nice neutral color. I love that on them. Um, Sweetest Coca, which is gorgeous, gorgeous brown. I love that too. And it comes out like a brown, but it still has like little reddish hints in it too so I love that and then you have a uh, breezy which I got online and I actually wondered if it's the right breezy so you know sometimes you buy stuff on eBay but either way it's a gorgeous gorgeous um, pinkish red color like a magenta so as you can see I have different blushes um, different colors so I can have different looks. Uh, one of my other favorites, which I'll turn it around for you, NARS, which I mentioned in another video, video before, Super Orgasm. And it's got a lot of sparkle in it, but when it comes up on my cheek, it's not real chunky, glittery, or anything like it looks. Um, if you see it at the store, um, very, very gorgeous color. Like I said, I love my peaches. And 
I was just looking at it and at my McFaffey one and uh, hipness and they actually look close but hipness doesn't have all that glitter like that in it but otherwise I love them both I love them both and the other one which actually these are all my blushes because um, this is a MAC eyeshadow that I was using for a blush so I decided to get some more blushes and this is also my first blush palette so that's cool um, the other one is L'Oreal hip um, which is bl in blushing 888 and I picked this up from Target they had in the clearance section I forgot to try it reminded me of my um, kind of remind me of this one the MAC um, eyeshadow empire I've been using that they don't have anymore and actually my sweetest Coco um, Coca that actually took over for that one so I can back to MAC that now because it's basically empty but this is the hipness one L'Oreal and it's pretty I didn't know it was a cream even though it says blendable blushing cream I don't know why my dumb butt didn't realize cream blush I looked at it and it was in clearance so I was like okay let me just try it two three dollars I'll try it I like it some of my not so favorite ones which is only one because I only have one other one it's the Victoria's Secret mosaic champagne sexy cheeks um, I got this with a kit and hopefully you can see it well enough. I don't know if you can see the uh, colors there I mean for some people it does work but for me I don't know for some reason it just instead of making my highlighting my cheeks and making them look you know gooey and pretty and everything else it just kind of shows all the flaws <coughs> and I'm not trying to show my flaws all the time so that's about it but those are my favorites and like I said this is one of my favorite favorites um I think um Sephora Junkie she just got it from um, one of the CCOs, so I guess you can still find it at some of the um, CCOs, but really nice. It's like the uh, foundations, the spray foundations that um, MAC had also, which I think they still have, but are discontinuing. But that's about it. Um, so I'm going to go to sleep. Long weekend. Like I say, I, I've dealt with about 35 kids this weekend, and it was really, really fun for my niece's birthday. I only have one niece and I love her to death. She is my favorite, so her and my baby. But she's not a baby anymore, but you know, I still consider her my baby, so <laughs> what can I say? But I'm gonna go to sleep because I am tired and as you can see my hair is wrapped up to go to sleep. I had my little fro today and it was looking cute. I had my makeup on, but took all of that off, so I am going to sleep and I hope you all have a wonderful night and one thing I do want to say, um, I have to look it up in the news just to see, but I want everybody to keep um, little baby Julian, um, Jennifer Hudson's um, nephew, in their prayers, and hopefully they find him very soon, alive and well. And I'm um, also to pray for all those other families out there who, you know, something like this has happened to them also, and they may not be as known. But, you know, they're out there, so just pray for all all of them because, you know, I don't like to see anybody mess with kids. I really, really don't. So, like I said, just pray for them and pray that, you know, they're found. Because every time I hear, you know, hear about an Amber Alert, you know, it makes me want to cry. And that's how I'm probably overprotective of my son. So, that's all I want to say. And have a blessed night. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, I'm going to make this quick. I realized I forgot two other ones that I really, really love. Um, Uniquely You. This is a blush powder satin from the Authentics um, palette. Gorgeous, gorgeous one. Had to put that in there. And also Napoleon Paradise Color Disc in 56. It's an orange color, but it makes a beautiful blush too.
you can use butt eyes and your face I mean eyes and your um you know your your cheeks too so I just want to put that in there as you can see I got my PJs you can kind of see I'm going to bed now good night